How's it going guys? Welcome back to Moonlighter. Since the last time I played, I've received quite a few tips from you guys. I'm very grateful for all those. Uh, most of them have been very helpful to me. I will do my best to try and make use of them here. My apologies if uh, not every single one makes it into the episode, but most of them are actually so, so helpful and I will try my best to use all of them if I can, but my apologies, I may have forgotten one or two along the way. So first off here, I'm just gonna grab a whole a whole whack of stuff. I don't know, some nice, nice decent sized stacks of items. Cause the number one biggest thing that I had to take away was the way that you can sell things in stacks. So I've been selling everything as individual little piles. And realistically, what I should have been doing is stacking them up and selling them as nice big stacks. And this is something that I had experimented with uh, on my own earlier. And yes, I'm going to stick with my phrasing there. <laughs> uh, but it's something that I didn't capitalize on because I didn't understand fully. So here, say when I look at this, uh, well, I, I still haven't figured out the sweet spot for a golem core. People are willing to buy it for 120, 100. It's popular right now. 100 is probably a good price. But what I can do is I can take 10 of them and see it auto sets the price for 700 because it knows that it'll sell it for that. But that I won't make good money off that. I'm gonna sell for a thousand and the way I assumed that things would work is that forcing a customer to buy a stack of 10 of them would be a deterrent but the way the game is programmed is that if they want the item they want the item and they'll automatically want more of it. And so it doesn't matter that I put a, a big stack of them for sale. As long as I sell them based on what the individual sell price is, then I am then I should be fine. These sell well for 100. I can chuck them up for 600. And so this way I can hopefully make good money much more quickly. Let's see. This guy, he's still popular. So you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with 1,800 again. I have three of those and I'm only selling one of them. Whoops. No, I wish. Um, I'm only going to sell one of them for right now because they do seem to be pretty rare and valuable. Like, not just for money, but they seem to be useful for crafting and things like that. So I want to make sure I'm hanging on to those. I, I'm going to try to do my best to hang on to crafting material. I want more money, so I am going to sell some of this stuff, rake in some quick cash here. See, people are pretty happy with that. They're fine buying big stacks of things. It all works out for me. The one thing I don't know is that, oh, and you know what? I think I have a d an idea of how I can test this too. Let me let me kind of let me kind of do it live here to show you show you what I got in mind. If I take a stack of these vines and twigs, which I don't know if I know the value of right now, I'm pretty sure I don't for the vines. Uh, I do for the I do for the roots though. People are willing to buy them for a buck. <laughs> Alright, we'll just chuck those up there. Whatever, it doesn't matter. What I'm more curious in is that if I put these up for 20 and sell all 10 of them, right now I have nothing to go off of. Is it going to auto-change it to show that an individual one is worth two? I don't know how it's going to adjust that in the back end. Uh, the swords for 60. I, I found out that these are worth quite a lot. You know, while I'm still experimenting with prices, it makes the most sense to do it one at a time. So I, I'm going to go ahead and fire that up by like a fair amount. See, get an idea of what it might actually be worth. So there he goes, he buys the whole stack of twigs. I'm much, much more curious. Ah, uh, 250. He didn't like that. That was too much. I'm much, much more curious what will happen with these vines. Please buy the vines. Please buy the vines. All right, he was happy with that. And so now I'll be able to answer these questions. I want to make sure I see this sale through. I don't want to abandon it and have the sale not go through. Uh, I guess I, I guess I'm changing that. Then I went a little too crazy with that price. And we'll throw this stuff up for sale since we know what it is worth and what it will sell for. Maybe I could see. Oh, okay. It even it even prices out the stack for me. I same as the vine. Now I know that that's how that works. Uh, yeah, you can see here it shows me what the individual thing is worth. So yeah, selling them as an individual is useful up top for gauging individual prices. But then beyond that, you can start selling stacks of things to make sure you're making money more quickly. Now some of these things that are going to cost 10 grand to, to craft, 
it doesn't seem so impossible, so unobtainable, knowing now that I can sell stacks of things for close to a thousand or over a thousand. That'll that'll speed things along nicely. Like look how look how much this is. I've I've like tripled my money in this one day of the shop selling things this way, so now I know how to manage this from now on. Ah, uh, the blueprints. I have, a, I have a handful of those, so I'm going to go ahead and throw that up. They liked that price. It was a good price. Sure, chuck, chuck them up. And you know what? Uh, let's let's put it up another another 10 each. Just to see, see what we can get out of people. I can check and... I, 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 it's good sales. Lots of sales. Maybe, maybe I might as well sell a couple more things. Most things I don't have a ton of anymore at this point, though, so I don't want to. I don't want to go too crazy with it. Let me see if I do. If I do this to uh, stack things better, to get a, a sense of the stuff that I have, like a crazy amount of. Oh man, they're just uh, clearing out my stock like wild. I have so much of this. Like I, I might as well sell some of that. Did I ever find out what these are worth? Not really. Let's uh, let's mess around with that quickly. I'm gonna go ahead go ahead and guess they're not worth much because I find so so many of them. Throw one more up there for like five bucks, so I can get whoops get a nice sample size of what they might may or may not be worth. And anything else that seems like it might be worth putting up for sale right now, I mostly wanna. I have so many golem cores. I can chuck those up there. Everything else, I think I wanna hang on to. Cause I might, I might want it for crafting later down the line, you know. So I, I can't be, can't be clearing out 100% of my wares. Quick move all. I'll sort that all out once I close up the shop. Right now, I want to focus on making sure I'm making these sales. Sold one of those for five bucks, and people must have been more or less okay with that. It was a reasonable price, maybe not the best price. Let's see what, let's see what people think of it right now. I checked the rest in the bin. Uh, how about how about six bucks? Just to just to see, just to push people. Got to push their limits. God, I'm trying to make a profit here, so sorry guys. There's no charity. Not giving any of this away. Well, that is a crazy amount of money. That's the first time I've made any kind of like worthwhile amount of money. So thank you for everyone who pointed out the ways that I should have been managing that better, and and now I actually can come away with some good profits. Uh, dump all this in there because I have I should have my I have my spear bow and arrow armor a couple health potions feeling good about all that stuff I think we can make our way out to the dungeon now I really I think I'm gonna set myself uh, a goal or two like a couple little goals oh wait wait I uh, I think I took the portal out of there last time right I get to go straight back to level two what no no if I go to bed does I do I lose it I think I lose it when I go to bed. Oh, nuts. That's such a waste of money. I spent the 1500 teleporting back, I think, thinking that I would be able to take it back to level 2. Uh, man, I guess it's just supposed to be a quick way for you to go, like, stick some stuff in storage and uh, stop by the shop if you need to, but, oh, shit, I didn't realize I was going to stop myself from being able to, to come back here. So now, now i got to go through... Friggin' level one for the, the eight millionth time now, when I assumed I had finally, you know, made my way beyond. So that's, that's unfortunate, but, well, you can't be too upset. I, I'm, I'm feeling good about the amount of money that I have here. Next time, next time I'm in town at the daytime, I'll choose my, a goal for what it is I'm gonna save up for. And that'll be fun, have, have little goals set forward for myself. Speaking of goals, those are that's a nice game goal that I have for myself, but in terms of uh, channel goals or series goals, I would like to do a stream of this somewhere down the line. Whoa, what the shit did I just find? Alright, this is cool. This could lead to some cool new shit. I can't believe I've never found cool mushroom world before. Oh, this is fucking sweet. New, new enemies. Uh, probably, uh, just cool new tile set. I just like the tile set. Whoa, something's going on in the ground there. The ground did is doing some kind of crazy shake all over the map. I'm not sure what is going on there. Oh my god, chug a potion. Because what the shit is going on the ground there? I'm sketched out. I don't know what to do. Uh, <laughs> I'm very worried that these things are going to just totally fuck me up. Uh, channel goal, though, is to uh, hopefully do a stream of this game somewhere down the line. Not too, too distant future. I'm going to be away for a few days, so I can't, I can't do that. Shit, I don't want to die here. I don't want to die here. <laughs> um, but uh, people have been really excited about this game. I have been too. 
And so putting out these 20 minute episodes uh, works out well for my, my editing timeline and, and everything like that. But I, for people who are really binging the series, which I know there are some of you who are, and thank you very much for that, I, I would like to give you like a nice huge like two hour stretch. Regardless if you see it live or see it after the fact, it would be a good way to be able to sit down and get caught up on the series. Shit, shitty shit. All right, that's it. We're, we're switching bow and arrow here. That was a few too many. Oh god damn it! Don't don't hit things like that. That was a few too many shots. This guy got off on me in a row. I can't I can't risk getting close quarters with it right now. Oh, if I leave, then am I gonna be able to come back? I don't want to leave this area right now because I don't know if I'll be able to come back to it. Shit! I wish. Oh, it's just one little area. What the heck? I wasn't prepared for that. I assumed I assumed I was gonna be exploring a whole new world like. I was gonna have lots to look around in. That's so strange. But I'm so excited to know that there's new interesting things like this to be discovered. Um, shit, I probably should go in, in search of a fountain. And then hopefully, oh, that was terrible. That was terrible. Hopefully I find a fountain, hopefully I can heal up, and I can go right back into it. Oh no, I'm totally boned. I'm so totally boned. Oh. <sighs> God, if only I hadn't got my ass handed to me so, so badly in that new area. Ugh. At least we beat the room, but I really didn't get to learn a lot from that. I was hoping that would be, as soon as I found it, I was like, that would be a great learning experience. I could bomb around in here and find some cool new shit. And I was so excited about it. Fuck, it took, what, eight episodes? Close to three hours to find that thing? God, it can't be, can't be that common. Hopefully I find it again and I'm better prepared for it the next time it comes up. I at least uh, know some of the enemies and their attack patterns now, so I should, should fare better, you know, fingers crossed. <laughs> and it looked like, it, like that one door stayed locked, so I don't know if I'm supposed to have a key or something to be able to get, like, the full, full exploration of that level. I have no idea. I don't know what I could have done differently. I could have lived. That could have been something I could have done differently. But yeah, a stream of this game, I think, could be a lot of fun. Uh, I'll be advertising it well ahead of time. Uh, I guess I should say, make sure you got, like, whatever that thing is, the bell, the bell button notification that YouTube has. That will be a good way to make sure that you're notified when a stream goes live. But if you want to know what's coming ahead of time, I'll try and do, like, a scheduled event so that you guys, like, can expect it. But I also definitely advertise that stuff pretty far ahead of time on my on my Twitter page, on the Two Left Thumbs Twitter page, so you can you can keep up with it there too, because I I know that like it's pretty crazy. These episodes have been going live, and within like their first day, I've been averaging over a hundred views, which is a lot for what I'm used to. So that's super fucking sweet. I'm super pumped about it, and I can't wait to share more of it with you guys. So all those people who are have been super excited about watching the series. I want to make sure that you guys are are able to come join for the live event because then we can we can chill, we can talk about the game, and you guys can provide some feedback. You can laugh at me when I screw up really badly or bo botch things really badly. Like I find a cool new unique area in the game and I I die in like basically the room after it. <laughs> then then I you can I, I'm sure you'll leave the comments telling me how I screwed up. I know you guys are very kind. You don't rag on me too hard, which I which thank you for that. I don't know if I'm so frail. I don't know if I can take it. But live, live, I imagine that I'll get hammered, hammered with comments of "Wow, you sure suck at this game." Ah, uh, uh, you guys, you guys wouldn't do that to me, right? You're too nice. You're gentle, gentle souls down there in in the comments in the two left thumbs fan base. Well, everything feels so mundane now that I've been to Magical Jungle Mushroom World. It's, uh, I wonder, I wonder if that's like a sneak peek at another dungeon? Like, it had the magical surrounding thing on it the same way that the magical healing fountain does? Fuck you, you stupid... Oh, I didn't realize I was lined up with it like that. I hate those stupid fuckers. <laughs> I wish there was a way to better block and attack them. Uh, yeah, I feel like I feel like there was some sort of weird riff in the space-time continuum or something, and I was getting a sneak peek at like a later dungeon. That's my theory for right now. There's only one dungeon in the game in the beta, so 
I, I won't be able to see any more dungeons from the game for quite some time, so based on the very limited info I have, I wouldn't be surprised to see if one of the dungeons is that jungle dungeon, and I found some cool way to travel between them. Hey, maybe, maybe if I should organize this a little bit to make sure I don't lose the super valuable stuff. Um, maybe once you've made it to that particular dungeon, like the new dungeon, then the game will be set up in, in a way that uh, those little rifts that open up will be a way for you to, to travel between the dungeons. No, there's the outside doors. Like, when I eventually am able to go to new dungeons, I don't have to play all the way through the golem dungeon every single time. I get to pick and choose which dungeon I enter. But still, I'm sticking to the theory that I think that's probably going to be one of the upcoming dungeons in the game. Your guys' is boring green vines. I have so many of them. I don't think the I don't even think the yellow ones were dropping any kind of special like yellow vines or anything, but hey, even if they're the same item, I could add some flair and some variety to the items by if I wanted to weave myself a beautiful flower crown, I could add some colors to it, you know? Make it a little bit more exciting. Then then I can I can either wear it myself, because I, I just have a basic headband right now. I wouldn't mind spicing it up a, a little with some lovely flowers. Or I can sell it in my shop. I know that adventurers are always on the lookout for flowery headbands. Oh, he's that stupid son of a bitch. He shifted over a little bit. Uh, oh, I can't. All right, I got to leave this room so I can organize my pack a little bit. So that I can see... It's the same thing I already have. Presumably valuable. Apparently that sword and shield that I lost a couple episodes is worth something close to like two grand. So I don't want to lose uh, weapons. They are something that I want to make sure I'm hanging on to. Oh, I hate you. I hate when you do that. I can't, can't express enough how difficult it is to make sure you have that lined up well enough. Please, fountain, fountain, fountain. Well, that was fucking done. <laughs> it's my fault. Not blaming the game for that. As soon as I walked in the room, I was like, uh, maybe I, I have like 10 health left. Maybe I just fucking die. Go back to town. Rethink my mistakes. Had enough excitement for one episode, I suppose, with, uh, with the crazy new mushroom world. I got all fired up about that, and then I just couldn't handle my shit anymore after that. Completely lost my shit was unable to find it again afterwards. Well, if it's daytime, let me check and see what I want to work towards here. I got I got a lot of money right now. I could actually upgrade something. Oh good, it's 10,600, it's not just 10,000. I could upgrade this, and then maybe it'll actually be good. But also, oh, I'm, I am really liking the spear. Plus 50? All right, plus 20 for the regular thing, which, which I have. And plus 50, so plus 30 is pretty damn significant, wouldn't you say? Oh, uh, there's these other things that I can craft the basic of. The hunter bow doesn't take as big of a leap. Can't make the catapult pull, catapult bow, so I won't worry about that. It's just whether or not I want to make the buster big sword, or if I want to make the spear. The buster big sword doesn't add a ton. It goes 10 to 25. Both weigh you down a bunch. The spear goes 20 to 50 and it doesn't weigh you down. That's wild. It costs 10 grand. It costs so much money. But I'm doing it. I'm going to build this thing. Are you sure you want to craft the warrior spear? Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty pumped about that actually. Let me instantly go equip it so I don't, I don't know, at some point run into the dungeon without a weapon and die with it. So get that, get that taken care of straight away. And do I sell any of this? I, I, let me think. It takes a thousand to craft the bow and then plus the different uh, ingredients that it takes and everything. I bet I could get away with like 1500. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. I'm just testing it out there. And you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell basically everything that I came back with here. I don't I don't give a shit. It wasn't a great run anyways. I just spent a ton of money. I might as well... Oh, I hate when I do that. I might as well try and recuperate some of that money right away here. So I'll do a quick run of the shop and hopefully hopefully recuperate some of that money. If I sell all this, I'll, I'll come out with a so-so, so-so amount of money. 
Be excited, be happy with that. Oh, way too high. Really? Way too high? Come on, guys. You, you never appreciate what I go through to get these items for you. How about that? How about we stick it up at 1,200? Also, what's its popularity at? Because that could be making a difference right now. Popular? It's a popular item. Well, then buy that. It's battle-tested. I can tell you right now, it's great for killing little jellies. You wouldn't believe. Is that the same person who went back and looked at it again? Well, they're happy with it this time. So at least I, I'm going to have a, a handful of sales. Sales under my belt. Sell it, sell it, sell it. It wasn't working. Oh, there we go. Someone else was in the line. I'm not sure what happened there. It was a weird little glitch. Uh... Wow, okay, good good sales. I don't know if I want to bother selling any of this other stuff right now. I... Uh, well, I did I did just craft something, so let me, let me just uh, fire a bunch of this sort of useless extra stuff. I can, I can sell a whole bunch of this. I got a bunch of foundry rests right now. Let me, let me go sell a bunch of that extra, my extra stuff. Quick place, quick place, quick place, quick place. Makes it nice and easy, doesn't it? Oh, I never found out what foundry rests are worth. They're pretty rare and pretty useful for crafting. I'm gonna check one up there for a hundred. That might be a little a little high, but I think it might work out. Oh man, can I? Oh, I can't even wrap my head around how much easier it is to sell things and how much money, how much more money I rack in now that I'm selling things in stacks. Well, I I missed the mark on that one. That was unfortunate. Let's uh let's try 150 and I'll check another one up there for 200. Get a better spread of possible worth. It always feels bad to get swindled on those early sales when you don't know what something's worth yet. But then then you know you start getting a sense of it and it starts balancing out and you can you can feel a little better about things. Foundry Rest is popular right now, so I got away with selling it a tiny bit more there. And a tiny bit more yet again. Aha! I got you! Oh, she fucking chucked it on the floor after that. Well, I got my new spear, so next time, guys, I'll be heading back into the dungeon and I can test out my new weapon. That's super awesome. Hopefully that goes well. Hopefully that keeps me alive longer in case I find another cool new area. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.